Hello, students. Welcome to our official recorder unboxing. Da -da -da -da. Yes, I can't wait. But first, let me tell you a little bit about why we're playing the recorder. We're using this instrument. Again, it's not a toy, it's an instrument so that we can practice being tuneful, understanding pitches of notes, woo, beatful, understanding rhythms, and artful, the emotions, the feelings of music. So we're using this to help us in our three goals. So the recorder is one of the most ancient instruments that we still play in the world. It's from the 1400s. That's 600 years ago. It has been used in ancient times in Japan, in South America, in Europe during the Renaissance. And it's been played in schools since the 1950s, starting in Japan. And it's grown in popularity amongst teachers of music. It's a great first instrument. So let's start the unboxing. Woo! Let's start with the case. The case is a really nice plastic, almost like faux uh, leather case. It does have a nice zipper with a ring and always keep it closed when it's in your backpack. So let's see what's inside. Let's start with the recorder itself. The recorder has a neck strap already on it. I put them on all of your recorders for you. It also has a quick release just in case so you don't hurt your neck. And you put it all around your neck like this. And your recorder actually comes in two parts. I'll show you that in a moment. There is also a little Velcro dot here. I call that a thumb spot. So we know where to put your right thumb and your left hand always goes on top. So why don't I play a scale for you? So that is what the recorder sounds like. And we're gonna learn how to play it tunefully, beatfully, and artfully. Now, the recorder does come in two parts. It can disconnect right here at the joint. So, these are the two parts. You want to put it back all the way in, and when you position it in the closed position, you'll see one dot, or I'm sorry, one hole in the back, and all of the rest of the holes will be in the front. And this is the back here. And, Let's see what else is in our recorder case. You should see this. It's a cleaning rod. Now, it came without the fabric in it. I put a piece of fabric in everyone's cleaning rod so that you could use it. This is just part of, an, part of a sheet that's been cleaned. So how you clean your recorder, after you play it for a while, sometimes condensation and even some saliva gets in there. So we want it to dry by putting the cleaning rod, of course I took it apart, put the cleaning rod inside and kind of twist so that the fabric collects all of that liquid. And then pull it out. Gently you wanna do this in the head joint, but you don't wanna jam it up there because it could damage your mouthpiece. You'll put it back on, and that's how you use your cleaning rod. You could also clean your recorder in hot, soapy water. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher. Some people say you can, but eh, dishwashers these days can be very powerful and very hot, so I don't want this to melt. So just take it out, let it soak in soapy, hot water, rinse it out, and then let it air dry overnight if you really want to disinfect it. You probably won't have to do that that often. There's one more thing inside the case. It's this, it's called joint grease. You probably won't even ever need it. I would probably take it out of the case and keep it somewhere safe because it could easily fall out of your case at school in your backpack. So, but in case you want to use it, this is how it works. If you take your recorder off and you notice, ah, you can't really get that head joint on very well, you can grease it with a little bit of joint grease. So I'll take my finger in circles like this, just a little dab. 
And then on the bottom part, you're just going to put some of that joint grease around just this little joint here where the two parts come together. And then you're going to reattach it and it will reattach much smoother. And then you wanna wash your hands with a towel or something. I have a napkin right here. Okay, so those are all the things inside your recorder case. Now, none of these are tools. They are all, I'm sorry, none of them are toys. They are all tools and instruments. So, whoops, my neck strap came off. If that ever happens, just take your recorder apart, put it on the bottom, close it up, and there you go, your next strap is ready. Let's talk about our expectations of the recorder. The recorder always lives in your backpack. It does not live under your bed. It does not live in your locker. It does not live in my classroom. When you take it to music class, you will take it out of your backpack, whoop, go to music class, after music class, it goes back in the backpack. So it lives here, this is its home. When you go home, if you would like to practice your recorder, take it out of the backpack, practice, and where does it go? In the backpack. Because the recorder lives where? In your backpack. Wonderful, thank you. So, expectation number two. You are the only person who plays your recorder. Not younger brothers or sisters, not dogs or cats, not even best friends. Now, it's up to your grown-up if you would like your grown-up to play your recorder. I'll leave that up to you and your family because maybe they want to help you. So that would be great. More YouTube videos are coming about how to play our recorder and how to get some really nice sounds and notes out. Okay, the third expectation is that your recorder is only played in two places, in music class and at home, in an appropriate spot at home. Ask grown-up permission first. Grown-up, can I please practice my recorder? Is this a good time? And they might say, sure, why don't you go in there? Or mm, maybe now's not a good time and then wait for a good time. Okay, I do not want to hear about recorders being played on the bus. No way. No recorders are played outside at recess. No recorders are being played before school waiting to come in or after school um, on the playground. Nope. Only at home and in music class. That's to protect your recorder and um, to protect the ears of those around you. <laughs> okay, um, if someone is not following those expectations about where they're playing the recorder, let me know. Please report it to me. Someone's recorder might be taken away for a little while, so let's not let that happen. Okay, the th wait a second. I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Oh, hi. It's your classroom teachers. Okay, yes. I'm doing a YouTube video right now. What should I tell them? Got it. I will let them know. Bye. Your classroom teachers have an important announcement for you. Do not practice your recorder at home until you have done your reading minutes for the night. You should be reading every night and until you have done your I ready minutes on your computer for the week. That comes first and then you can practice your recorder. Deal? deal. Well, more videos are to come. More lessons in music class are coming about how to play our recorders and how to be, what are our three goals? Tuneful, beatful, and artful. Enjoy your own unboxing and please share this with your grown-ups. Can't wait for more recorder journeys together. Bye musicians!